Marvel's Eternals reveal themselves. Zack Snyder has a film school and more. This is Culture Vulture. Hey everyone, Dirk here with the Dirk Dispatch. Kicking things off is the first poster and trailer for Marvel Studios Eternals. Due to Hot Fad Plague 2020, Marvel's entire slate of movies got pushed back a year, but the mouse is getting their money train back on track with Black Widow finally arriving after three release date changes on July 9th. But there's been almost no sign of the Eternals, which is odd considering it was supposed to have been in theaters six months ago and would have been on Mouse Plus soon. We've gotten some glimpses with a leaked calendar cover in February and the Marvel Phase 4 announcement trailer a couple of weeks ago, but only now have we got the first poster and teaser trailer. It tells us almost nothing about what it's about other than director Chloe Zhao has brought the naturalistic lighting style she used for her Oscar-winning Nomadland, whose cinematography was its best part and was totally robbed of its own Oscar. Now the logline is, after an unexpected tragedy following the events of Avengers Endgame, the Eternals, an immortal alien race created by the Celestials who have secretly lived on Earth for over 7,000 years, reunite to protect humanity from their evil counterparts, the Deviants. Judging from the snarky reactions on the trailer's page to the line, throughout the years we have never interfered. Until now. A common take is, where were you jerks when Thanos was wrecking everything? Social media also seems unimpressed by it, calling it boring and complaining about the lack of action or complete spoilers and saying that Marvel has strayed too far into arcane territory with characters nobody knows. Right, and no one wanted to see a movie about a talking raccoon and his sentient tree friend either. Chill people, it's a trailer. If you think that the first impression is all that matters, remember that eight years ago they announced Ben Affleck was going to play Batman, and the internet lost its collective mind about it. How did that turn out? Exactly. We'll see for ourselves November 5th. Next up... Netflix has launched the first episode of a new YouTube series, Snyder School, in which twisted sister vocalist Zack Snyder takes viewers through his creative process in making Army of the Dead. Covering screenwriting and storyboarding to editing and advanced post-production, the four-episode series will be released weekly on the Netflix Film Club YouTube channel, which I didn't know was a thing before today. One of the things I really miss about the migration of movies to streaming is the behind-the-scenes featurettes that came on Blu-rays and DVDs, which were like free film school. While I didn't think much of the too long and poorly written Army of the Dead, I'll be jerking these hurt, and Netflix is promising more filmmakers in the future. According to The Collider, the second episode, Lights, Camera, Action, focusing on cinematography and shooting action scenes will drop May 27th. Making the cut, covering editing and post-production will come out June 1st, and the final episode about creating an entire cinematic universe, oh great, sequels, will be released on June 7th. Check out the first episode linked in the description below, along with the Eternals trailer. For gamers, a reminder to PlayStation Plus members that you have one week left to snag the May free games, Battlefield 5 and Stranded Deep. You have until Monday, May 31st to tie them to your PS Plus account because the next month's batch of games arrives on the first Tuesday of the month, which will be June 1st this time. Finally, in gratuitous cheesecake news, we see Transformers star and mother of three Megan Fox bringing the Rice Krispie treats to the parent-teacher night. Whoops, that's not right. This is Fox and her current significant phallus machine gun Kelly at the Billboard Music Awards this week. Sorry for the confusion. So, what did you think of the Eternals trailer, Army of the Dead, or Megan Fox? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video entertaining, informative, or just better than cleaning the cat box, why don't you caress that subscribe button and tinkle the bell to be alerted to future videos? Follow us on the monopolistic social media thing of your choice, linked in the description below. And would you be so kind as to share us with your friends or enemies, because we don't want to be just your little secret, we want to be everyone's little secret. Y'all stay safe out there. See you next time.